Hey Capricorn, first of all, happy uh, birthday um, for all you Capricorns out there. My youngest son is a Capricorn, my stepmom and my brother are Capricorns. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a big um, shout out and just say happy birthday, man. Uh, with that being said, um, I already went ahead and pulled the cards, which seems to have things come a little bit quicker. And then I'll clarify this. Uh, if this is the first time uh, coming to my channel, welcome, welcome. Um, this is from now until the end of December. This is a love reading. It can resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If one doesn't resonate, check out one of your other signs. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, don't forget to comment because I love reading what you guys have to write and really interacting with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Also, too, please feel free to check me out on Instagram. It's Accurate AF Tarot. And if you follow me, I'll follow you back. And I love, you know, seeing your guys' pictures and all that type of thing. Um, if this reading does resonate and you'd like a little bit more clarity, you always can book a personal reading with me at um, aaftarot.com. And with that being said, Capricorn, let's just go ahead and get right into your reading. So first things first, um, your partner is coming across as heart of the sky. Okay. And it's number 24. So you definitely can be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra because six is associated with Venus. Um, your partner is somebody that's a very peaceful lover, right? They need a level of stability. They do better when they're in relationships, but th they want something very stable or your partner is somebody that is very stable, right? They're compassionate, very family uh, oriented, trustworthy domestic um sometimes this person has a hard time changing right that can definitely be it and they don't like when things are out of order right they really do work hard to make sure that there's a level of peace with inside of you know the home and it's crazy because your partner is very attached to their home and very devoted to their family and um they like to maintain a level of balance so that's definitely coming in here with the heart of the sky and I feel like this card is just beautiful also too it's like this person is somebody that is a love force in that sense where like they make everything possible this person is um a master manifester this person is somebody that is highly highly attractive more than likely you're very attracted to them um and I feel like with this person, they set their intentions. They're very upfront with what they want from you, Capricorn. And it's really up to you to determine how you want to go about that. Um, can you give me some more information on who Capricorn's person of interest is romantically? Um, also, too, some of you may be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio. Possibly even a, a Sag is coming in, too. Maybe they have, like, a Sag rising or whatever. But definitely Libra, <laughs> Libra's coming in tough and so is Cancer. Okay, so can you give me more information about um, Capricorn's person of interest romantically from now to the end of December? Okay, tower moment. So definitely can be uh, also too an Aries or a Scorpio. Something's happened. What's the energy of the tower? So something big has happened between you and them. Uh, Six of Wands reversed, okay? There was something uh, that happened that's kind of knocked, I feel like, this person down a few pegs. Like, they're not very confident right now. Uh, they're, they're in a place where it's like, I don't want to say they want to argue or they want to fight, but it, it, it is a place where it's like, they're not really, uh, I don't know how to explain it. They're not feeling overly confident right now. There's a level of ego that I feel like has happened, especially for the tower to be reversed. This person may have lost their job or there's something here that's happened that's made them like not feel victorious here. Um, what's caused this tower moment? Six of Pentacles. Okay, somebody may have been giving to more than one person. Okay, or it can also be an argument over money. That's something that can possibly come through. Something's definitely here has happened about somebody giving to multiple people. For whatever reason, somebody may have seen something, right? And that's what's caused this tower moment between you and them. 
Okay, can you give me some more information? Taurus is coming in heavily here. Can you give me some more information on um, Capricorn's person of interest? One more, please. Okay, Five of Swords, Aquarius. Three of Wands reversed. It's like... Mm, something is returning. Something's happened. Something's came back around. Some type of burden or something that maybe somebody thought that they buried for a period of time. It's like this shit is now coming coming up again. Yo, look at this. Huh, judgment. Okay. Um, how does Capricorn feel about this? How does Capricorn feel about this? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, hold on. How does Capricorn's person of interest feel about this? The Three of Cups. How do they feel about this Three of Cups? I don't know. Let me ask one more time. Hold on one second. Let me ask with the other cards. Because I want to make sure that like I'm understanding this in its entirety. So I don't tell you some bullshit that's not true. Um... How does Capricorn feel about what's coming back around? Hand, hand, okay, hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options not showing your hand. Okay, so with that being said, I feel like somebody had more than one person here. Somebody found out or somebody came back around. Um, how does Capricorn's person of interest feel about the tower moment and what's coming back around? How does Capricorn's person of interest feel about this? The runner, codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, letting go of ego. So I'm going to be honest, and I'm not even going to attempt to, but somebody had more than one option, and now somebody's running. Somebody's like, okay, I saw that. Cool. Goodbye. You know, this, there's somebody very egotistical at play here. That's definitely coming, coming across strongly. All right, let's move on. Um, how you feel about this person is the five of cups, which is funny because that's Mars and Scorpio. And it's like, one, I feel like somebody's guilty, feels guilty or upset. It's like, how do I make it right? But then the other part is like that aspect of this challenge now that's here. It kind of like, how do I explain it? It's, it's like, I feel like there you like challenges like like this is something that is like okay now what do I do right um also too I feel like you know you feel like this person usually gets whatever they want and um you know that they there's somebody that feels like life isn't fair why why does Capricorn feel the five of cups towards their person of interest why why do they feel like this because of the three of cups like there was some type of celebration. There was some type of party. Something happened here. Maybe somebody was drinking. The energy of the three of cups was the star. Okay. And it's funny because the star comes after the uh, tower. So that's kind of interesting. There may have been some type of communication about an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. Somebody may have seen something from a party. Um, that's what I'm gathering. That's why you're upset. Or somebody's upset with you. It, it can be either way. But but there's definitely something here with a third party situation. Um, how does Capricorn feel about how this communicate, like what was communicated or what they saw? It's the high priestess, okay? That's something that was hidden, right? That's something that in the back of your head you've known, but it's something that was also hidden, possibly by a Libra or a Cancer. This person is very cold right now, though. Uh, what, uh, how does, uh, Capricorn's person of interest, how do they feel about what was seen here? Whoa, that's weird. It's, it's, it's the Knight of Swords. You see, it's like it put you both in a place where 
it's like you both are coming across as swords. So Gemini, um, that's definitely coming up or any of the air signs. It's really strange here. It's like right off the bat, instead of like figuring out like how you feel about them or how they feel about you, it's almost coming across with like all the issues that you both are having. It's like this person's upset and maybe they're upset because of something that they've seen or a party, like somebody was drinking, something happened, like something, maybe because it was like a Christmas party. I don't know. Um, how does Capricorn, there's a level of seduction or something. How does Capricorn feel? Can I get the question out? Okay. How does Capricorn feel about their person of interest romantically? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Something here definitely hurt. That's how you feel about that person. It's like you want to end it because you know that there's a level of transformation and a level of growth. But I feel like it kind of struck a chord with you. It definitely changed things for you for real. When it came to this person. Um, your current situation. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, what's changed? What direction is a wheel turning? For Capricorn and their person of interest romantically. If you and your partner at one point we're kind of on a roll, right? You guys were going the right direction. Everything was, you know, heading towards the right area. You guys were building, you guys were working towards one another. And then boom, like all of a sudden things have come to a complete stop. The hangman. Now you both are suspended. There's something that has to be, um, what's changed here is the fact that things are not moving forward. Why are they stuck? Why are they stuck here for the situation? Because of the devil. Okay, Capricorn. Well, there you are. But this can be anything. This can be an addiction. This can be um, this can be sex. This can be an ego. Somebody doesn't want to let go of. What's the energy of the devil? What's the energy of the devil here, spirit? What's the energy of the devil here? The lovers. An attachment. Okay, there's Gemini. Um... Let's see, how does Capricorn feel about the situation? See, it's the page of swords. It's like, you know what's going on. It's like you're watching it. You're watching what this person is doing. How does Capricorn's person of interest feel? You may be even stalking. Seven of swords, 10 of swords. Okay, hold on. I don't know. You may have both done something. I'm going to be honest. Maybe with an Aries or a Scorpio. Um, Eight of Wands. One more time. How, do, how does Capricorn's person of interest, how do they feel romantically? Or, or, or how, do they, how do they feel about the current situation between them and, them and Capricorn? How do they feel about what's going on? The Tower. I mean, I feel like this is rocking them to their core to keep it 100. Uh, Scorpio, Aries. This is something that's very upsetting for them. Like there's definitely something going on here that's very heavy. And it can be over a connection that you have with somebody. It can be over the fact that, you know, maybe somebody's still hung up on their ex. They don't know how they want to work through it. There's not a lot of thought being put in. Somebody's acting like really irrational, I feel like. That's definitely something that can be coming in. It's very strange how everything is like moving though with this reading. And it's interesting because your situation is also your block, which is change. Something has to change here, right? It's like somebody may even be financially careless, overly emotional, um, but there's definitely a big emotional volcano that's happened. Why, why is change here as an obstacle? Why is change here as an obstacle?
because of the seven of cups. Because for whatever reason, you or your partner doesn't know where this is going. It's also too, that's Venus and Scorpio, right? That's a very, um, first of all, it's very mysterious. But the other part of it is it's almost like, what is it called when you get like, par it's like paranoid, right? Paranoia. It's like, what's this person doing? It's very clouded. And, and it's interesting because it's like, this is very intense. There's a level of loyalty here. However, it's also mixed with a level of possessiveness, right? And I don't know if somebody has to change what they're attached to. Somebody may not want to give up their attachments. They're afraid, you know, um, when it comes to matters of the heart to let go. And I feel like there's just a lot of confusion. Why is there so much confusion on what's changing? Because of the Nine of Cups. There's Pisces and Jupiter. <sighs> hmm. You know... I just feel like there's something that needs to be sacrificed. There's something that somebody needs to change and walk away from in order to get to the nine of cups. Because if you look at it, we have the seven of cups here, right? Where he's clouded, but then we're missing a step. The step that we're missing is the eight of cups. The problem with the eight of cups is that we're not going backwards. We're not retracing our steps. We're not leaving something behind. So that confusion is now carried on with this nine of cups. So now it's like, I feel all these things, but I don't exactly know where it's going because I've not left everything behind. So that change is definitely needed. And it's crazy because judgment just flew out. It's also like admitting, I feel like being very honest. It's also somebody finding something out and judging. It's like there's like a level of judgment here with I feel like an Aries or a Cancer. Something that somebody's been waiting for somebody to express. That's what I'm getting heavy. Very, very, very heavy. For your outcome, you do have the Four of Cups. So that is Moon and Cancer. Um, but if you want to know more about this, as well as how does your partner feel about you romantically, uh, what do they want from you long term in relationships? What are they hiding your uh, neck, their next actions, your advice and the outcome? Please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you can purchase the uh, extended reading. And with that being said, I love you guys so much and happy birthday. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.